I have a background in forestry and metrology and I'm interested to look at the role of forests in relationship with the climate and very uh, precisely the, the role of forests in um, regulating local climate or microclimate. But at the moment it's, it's also interesting to look at what's the, the role of forests in uh, sequestering and also releasing carbon from the ecosystem. We need to know uh, exactly how much carbon will be sequestered by this ecosystem and also released when it is removed from the landscape. So we want to know the detail about the above ground biomass in the forest and also below ground biomass. We are also interested to look at the below ground biomass because we are also working in peatland ecosystem where um, organic material is uh, so important there and we look at the, the dynamic of peatland and the role of, of peatland in, in um, storing carbon as well as the, the vulnerability of peatland itself when, when the uh, forest is removed. So we, we are interested to look at how the uh, ecosystem will respond when land use is changed in peatland ecosystem. If you look at from uh, the surface, uh, pit forest looks similar to the rest of the forest, what we call forest grown in mineral soil. But if you go into the forest itself, you will see how uh, different it is when you look at the situation on the ground and below the ground. When you dig up the uh, soil, it's basically you do not have the what we call uh, mineral soil. It's basically organic material dammed there for thousands of years. So it's very rich in terms of organic material. And the depth of this uh, pit can reach up to 15 meters. So you can imagine the, the amount of carbon stored there. Most of the area where we can find uh, pitland is a lowland area and it's regularly uh, flooded and also drained. So this uh, inundation and draining cause the, the system to try to accumulate carbon, but the decomposition rate is relatively slow so that the organic material coming from the litter, the uh, dead material will be dammed there for years. It's very much associated with the, the policy uh, being uh, drafted or being uh, implemented uh, in connection with the so-called conversion forests. In this particular class of uh, forests, uh, pit forests is among, amongst them. So it's, it's interesting to look at the policy and the uh, uh, biophysical processes on the ground and we try to to see how policy should be or will be uh, informed with regard to what's happened if you convert pitland forest into something else. And uh, strictly speaking, most of this area will be converted to uh, agricultural expansion, including oil palm and pulp wood plantation. It, with the uh, debate on the climate change and uh, people start to understand the role of forests in um, regulating global climate, not only microclimate, I think uh, people should be aware and should be made aware of the role of forests. Uh, what I mean by people here is not necessarily uh, people on the street, but it's good that they, they're also aware, but also people who, who do business. So um, the business community should be aware also about their consequences of the, their action. This is the beginning because the, the new government also start with a new set of team. And I think it's timely to discuss that across the table. I mean, in the cabinet you cannot address issue of pitland in one particular sector. It has to be discussed across, across the, the, the cabinet, including, for example, Ministry of Agriculture, uh, Planning Bureau, whatever, related to the use and, and also the, the role of pitland. And uh, 
also uh, the issue of I think it's long debated this this spatial planning, and uh, I think uh, from from the legal point of view, it should also involve parliamentary uh, debate as well. From the political point of view, uh, a lot of things has been uh, discussed uh, outside the negotiation table. But uh, I think the leaders of the world uh, send uh, quite mixed messages to the, the rest of uh, the community. Uh, in one hand, they want to do something meaningful to cut or uh, deep cut the uh, uh, emission but at the same time they also have their domestic agenda. So it's not quite clear how things will converge in Copenhagen right now. This is exciting because uh, science is, is always exciting. We, we have awful a lot of questions to answer and hopefully the, the answer will be, will be meaningful in decision making and we want to convey that message to them. For uh, climate change, I think uh, the uh, impact is clear, it's, it's here and now, we can, we can, we can feel it. We, we do not need to wait until 50 years or 100 years. And for developing countries like Indonesia, the, the impact is so evident and we need to do something, however little it is.